The way Luke tells the story, you've got all these scoundrels in the story. They can see what's going on. Herod and Pilate could see Jesus' innocence. The criminal on the cross could see it. And now here's this Roman soldier, no friend of any Jew, make no mistake. This guy's just following orders. Another day, another dollar here at the crucifixion site. He doesn't care about any of these guys dying on these crosses. They're all the same to him, but this one, the way he died is just different. So different, in fact, <laughs> that this Roman soldier praised whatever God he knew, saying, surely this man whom I just helped kill, surely he was innocent. <sighs> How crazy is that? What would it take for a Roman soldier to conclude that a condemned Jewish criminal were innocent? What was it about this death that struck this soldier in that way? Was it the ease with which Jesus died, the effortlessness? Was it the speed? John notes how relatively quickly Jesus died. Usually it took days to die on a cross. Jesus died in a handful of hours. Didn't even need to break his legs to speed up the process. That could be an indication of how badly they scourged him beforehand. Or perhaps he simply wasn't clinging to his life like all the rest. And that's what this soldier sensed. It's what he saw. This soldier had seen hundreds of criminals breathe their last breath. He'd killed hundreds of people, but maybe this was the only one he'd ever see who was giving up his life, laying down his life for the sake of the world. And that Roman soldier nearby. And when that Roman soldier saw that up close with his own eyes, it changed him. To be that close to that kind of self-sacrifice, that kind of love, it changes a person, doesn't it? 